Pep Talk UK Pro Bs, aka Frankie B. I'm here, yes, just chilling. I thought I might talk about this news that's uh, breaking in the press today about Arsenal having £45 million to spend in the summer if they fail to reach the Champions League. Um, initial thoughts is wow, uh, Arsenal just been beaten by uh, Man City. And very, very easily, heads are down. The club seems to be not going anywhere. And then you hear some news on Arsenal's shopping money, uh, which literally is like uh, Kroenke is going to dip his hands into his, his piggy bank and give Arsenal some small change. Now, for Unai Emery, his hair is black at the moment. I see that turn into grey. Um, if 45 million, that reported sum is really on the table. I mean, you look at Arsenal's team. Now, for me, injuries have shown that they need reinforcements. Uh, the squad isn't strong enough. But not only is it a question of injuries, it's a question of the fact that Arsenal actually need reinforcing in the first team. You look at the back, three defenders need to come in. You're talking about a new left back to replace Nacho Monreal who's in the twilight years of his career. You're also looking at the fact that Kolasinac really uh, doesn't have an idea about how to defend. You combine that with uh, Mustafi's uh, potential, potential ability to cause uh, a lot of um, havoc in the back line. I mean, some of his, defend his defending is uh, worse than what you see in Hackney Marshes on a Sunday, Sunday morning. It's really, really shocking. I mean, Arsenal paid £35 million pounds for uh, squad Jeremy Mustafi. And your know, Lone Concerni, who's been a loyal servant to Arsenal, he has got Arsenal out of jail on a number of occasions. I mean, he has led Arsenal uh, to his maximum over a long period of time. And, you know, you have, to, you have to big him up. But at the same point in time, him being 33 years of age, he's just come back from a long injury. He was out for nine plus months and clearly he's not the same player that he was. So you're looking at Arsenal needing to replace three players in defence. And usually 45 million gets you one good player. So you might as well say Una Emery should go and buy one player. And we all know where that should be. That should be in defence. They need a they need a centre back. But a top quality centre back ain't going to be 45 million. If you look at how much Virgil van Dijk cost, 70 plus million, I believe it was. How on earth are you going to get uh, a player of that ilk? And let's face it, that's what Arsenal need. But beside three defenders, I feel Arsenal need another midfielder to potentially um, take um, Xhaka out of the team. I mean, Xhaka is made six mistakes uh, this season that have led to six goals. I mean, from my recollection and from what I've read, uh, that is the most of any player in the Premier League. And it's, it simply highlights a lack of concentration. Also need another player that can effectively uh, screen the back four with a, with a brand new defence. Uh, Torreira really likes to get up and down the pitch. He's a high energy player and they really need to uh, support support Torreira with a strong holding player, you know, and um, Arsenal are also lacking two wide players. You're talking about on the left hand side, they don't have any left footed wide players that can get to the bar line, and neither they, do they on the right either. And we're talking about wingers with absolute pace. I mean, Yannick Carrasco, there was talk about him in the, in the media, about him coming to Arsenal during. Uh, the, the, the January window but obviously Arsenal do not have the money to follow up such inquiries and it's left Arsenal really with an unbalanced squad and they brought in Suarez for free and Suarez again for me you can quite clearly see in the game against Man City he doesn't have the pace that Arsenal require but he's more of a replacement for Ramsey in the middle but Ramsey's still there but he's going in the summer I mean the whole thing's a mess and um, this lack of leadership and vision at the club has meant the team is literally uh, on its knees in terms of ambition, in terms of anyone driving the club 
forward and beyond the top four to actually challenge for the title, you saw how Man City easily dispatched of Arsenal. It was almost as if when Arsenal scored, it made Man City angry and uh, Aguero was fully looking to increase his goal tally for, for the season. And, you know, he saw wide open spaces. He saw that all the Arsenal defence was ball watching. So he was literally looking to uh, increase, you know, his tally for the season and he got his hat-trick. I mean, against Arsenal, it's not really a big, a big thing because the spaces are there, you know. As a striker, I'm sure anybody at any level would love to play against defenders that don't concentrate. And Leno as well, I mean, against Man City, he made a couple of errors that led to no goals, but he still looks shaky, he still looks like a goalkeeper, very much learning his trade. And this imbalance in a squad really needs 45 million, probably um, time about six. Yeah, I mean, Arsenal need significant funds to. I would actually say Arsenal need minimum to sort their team out 300 million. And even that, I'm being kind because you're looking at the bench as well. Um, the bench needs um, some better reinforcements. And it's sad for a club that talked about competing with the likes of Real Madrid competing with Bayern Munich, as they said, when the stadium was built. And uh, that really hasn't happened. In fact, Arsenal now competing with Everton, which is, uh, for Gunners fans, um, extremely disappointing. So, 45 million, mate, um, in footballing terms, that's a nice cup of tea and a, and a few rich tea biscuits, you know. So, Kroenke is really going to have to uh, beware of the Arsenal uh, fans' backlash um, are Arsenal slipping away from the top four? Well, they're only three points off it, but you sense that there's uh, more pain in terms of Arsenal going away from home. Their home form is pretty good, but you know, uh, without a strong defence and without funds, uh, potentially progress is, is always going to be limited. So we will see if that 45 million uh, turns out to be true. But remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Pro Beast, yes, Pep Talk UK, yes sir, we out ya.